trying to motivate people to dunk is all the side benefits they get from it, all the byproducts of training. You have to be lean, you have to be strong, you have to be mobile, and you have to be healthy, and that's so hard. My point is there's a million factors you can work on. There's a million things you can do daily, and the most important is just consistent, nonstop work. There's no secret. There's no secret amount of reps. It's just getting stronger and getting faster, and those things are incredibly difficult. Oh, shoot. What's good? If you're listening, if you're watching this, I think anyone can, and more importantly, should dunk. Yo in yo, we are tuned in to Dunk Life Daily. Welcome, you're tuned into that frequency, whether audio, video, whatever way you're absorbing this frequency, thank you for tuning in because now you're gonna tune your brain into believing you can friggin' dunk and it's not just about believing, even though that's a really important factor. You can do it and I really believe anyone can and should and would and will if they want to. What? Okay, what's good? I'm your host, Stephen Selly. I'm 5F and 10 and I'm full-skinned white. What, is, what does that mean? I wasn't born with athletic ability. I was athletic, but I'm only 5'10". I went from under, not even touching the rim, to dunking. With the most power out of anybody in the entire world, that's up to you to decide, but I think so. <laughs> Am I in rehab mode so I can't even prove it to you today? Yes, but check out my videos. I have 900,000 videos and more to come. I have a video on me jumping from 30 to 40 inches, not one jump, not like I jumped once and it went, jumped up. It's my story, and I'm going to make a part two to that, so check that out. That's how I started. That's my story about that. Today is about why I think you can dunk and why I think anybody can dunk, and it's simple physics. And the first thing you can do, don't ask me how, YouTube gave me this feature. If you hit the notification bell, oh my God, it's like just today you can dunk. If you don't have access to a rim, I'm sorry, but if you hit that bell right now, and if you're watching this not on the day it's published, it won't work, but the bell will still help your hype and it'll still shock me. Like if you, whoever's watching this right now and clicks the bell and, oh, it shocks me. Stop it, please. Oh God, too many bells. I don't know what is wrong with me. Let's get into it though. Anything else I needed to say before that? And uh, I'm freaking short and I donk and that's impressive. And I think you should take note that that's literally my feet. I didn't think it was even possible when I was young. I've always loved it. I literally didn't even enter my realm that I didn't even try it. Now I think so many people are dunking because I see it's possible. And beyond that, I think anybody can really dunk except extreme, extreme circumstances. But I think the majority of people, if you don't think you can dunk, you can, you really can. And here's what I have to say about that. First of all, um, it's just physics. It's just producing force to jump higher. Welcome to Dunk Life Daily, by the way. This is where we dunk on life, we max out our energy, we max out our freaking brain cells, and we work together to spread love, improve the world, and enjoy. And that's it. Damn, that was pretty good. Should I make that an intro? No, because I can't keep one thought in my head. I got to go with the flow. That's me. I'm your host, Stevie Boy Sally. Huh? What's good? So, physics. <laughs> Back on track. Physics. Just produce force, you can jump higher. Um, there's people that are dunking that are five, 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 four, literally five, five and five, four. So height's not a factor. If you keep getting shorter, it's not going to help. So if you keep shaving off inches, obviously it's going to be harder and harder, but it is possible because people have done it. If they've done it, you can do it. Now there's people that are tall, zero athletic ability, six, over six feet, can't even get close to the rim, six inches from the rim, probably have a lot to work on, probably, um, need to get stronger, probably need to do, um, work on technique and all those different things, but I still think it's possible. Now, here's the part that might be the toughest part, and that is getting stronger and the race against time. But besides those two things, if time is not a factor, I think anybody's possible. Is that a loophole for this video to drag you in? Maybe. But still, it's about the motivation. It's about living your life to the max. It's about that dunk life. And what I mean by that is if you want it bad enough and you believe in yourself, you can do it. You have to keep chipping away. And what I've learned from this is every, from my dunk journey is you have to keep going. Every injury you have, learn something from it because injuries teach you something. Unless it's a freak accident where you're on the basketball court and a fucking jet ski comes out of nowhere and hits you in the neck, that's 
doesn't help because that's a fluke. But anything that's basketball related, even if you roll an ankle, you land on somebody wrong, someone pushes you, something went wrong, like an imbalance, a weakness, something like that. And sometimes it's even just your sleep. Meaning like if you had a lack of sleep, then you get injured because your body's not working at its potential. There's a whole podcast on sleep, why we sleep, and hist- statistics to show people who get consistently bad sleep are more, more prone to injury. My point is there's a million factors you can work on. There's a million things you can do daily, and the most important is just consistent, nonstop work. There's no secret. There's no secret amount of reps. It's just getting stronger and getting faster, and those things are incredibly difficult, especially when you get higher up in, the, in the, your vertical, like moi, like myself, when I'm so gosh darn elite and I'm jumping <laughs> so high and dunking so hard, it's hard for me to go higher. But that's the point of this video. If you're jumping and you're somewhat close to the rim, I think the majority of people can just jump, do basic training and dunk. That t- is really hard to get to that level, but you only need to get about mid-palm, to wrist level to dunk. And I think almost anybody can do that. There's people 5'5". Five, five, if you're 5'5", five, five, you can do it by just jumping most of the time. I don't even know. This is very general, but my point is you can gain so much from just jumping and basic training. The hard part is elite and up. But just to get to a dunk, just to touch a 10-foot rim, is an average of maybe I think a 35 to a 40-inch vertical for people. That's very obtainable for someone who's dedicated, works hard, and stays diligent. I think that's possible for almost every single person that wants to do it. And I truly believe that. And then for those extenuating circumstances where you're very short, you're 5'2 and under, or you literally have a two-inch vertical, I still think it's possible. And that's because you have to believe in yourself. And if you do, your brain is on that frequency and you could figure it out. And yes, you have to race against time and race against age and things like that. But besides those two things, I think it's possible. Even if you're 45 and just starting now, I think there's ways to get it done. It's just, can you get stronger? Can you stay healthy? Those are the harder questions than if you can dunk. That's harder. That's, that's what makes it really difficult. But if you can overcome those hurdles, you will live better. And that is the essence of why dunk life is so important to me and why I think you guys should live, uh, live the dunk life. If you're living the dunk life, comment dunk life below. Help my engagement. Help me blow up because I want more people in the world to dunk. I want everyone in the dunk. No, obviously I'm trying to grow my channel. Obviously I want to do these things, but you have to keep working. And that's part of what I love to do is the inspiration, is the motivation. So what I love about trying to motivate people to dunk is all the side benefits they get from it, all the uh, byproducts of training. You have to be lean. You have to be strong. You have to be mobile and you have to be healthy. And that's so hard. I eat super clean. I sleep fucking nine hours a night. No, I did last night though. Your boy's sleeping good, but my body needed it. What does that mean? I went to sleep at 830. I was in bed reading a nice novel at 8.30 before I turned the lights out at 8.45. Was I still up at the crack of dawn? Yes, but that was after a freaking 10-hour sleep. Listen to your body. You get in tune with your body. You get in tune with your mind, and there's, there's nothing more valuable than progressing all those aspects of your life, and that's what dunk life is, and that's why I think if I can motivate people to try to dunk and achieve something and they can prove to themselves they can do it, the world would be a better place. And I think so many more people will achieve such greater things because that's what Dunkings taught me. It's taught me that hard work, perseverance, never giving up, never giving in, staying true, staying focused, staying patient, doing the most, working hard, mental games, mental clarity, mental fortitude, strength. I I don't want to repeat myself. You get the point. It's, it's, it's made me so much happier. It's made me feel like I'm on my path of becoming who I am truly and enjoying life. And I I feel like I'm headed towards a life that I really will enjoy and feels like a dream. And that's what I think the essence of life is, is finding what you love to do. So find a goal. I hope it's dunking because that's what I love. I would love to see more people attempt to dunk just because it's a feat that I'm sure I'm not like other people are like me. When you were a kid, it, it seemed like it was just for the elite. It seemed like it was just for the tall people. But now it's becoming possible and you're seeing people do it. So challenge yourself. Even if it's not dunking, challenge yourself to do something that the byproducts are so healthy. And I don't know of one other than dunking. I mean, it's just so great. You have to keep your tendons healthy. You have to learn your body inside and out. Find an endeavor that pushes you so that way you can push all aspects of your your life. 
to maximize your energy and maximize your existence here on planet Nebular. Because that's where I feel like we are. And that's it for today. I hope you like today's edition of Dunk Life Daily. I do this every friggin' morning. This one's a little late. Don't get on my case about it. I'm back. Open mic tomorrow night. Stay tuned for my first ever open mic. I love you. And if you want to train with me, I have dunk programs on my website. And if you want to work directly with me, which is like my direct consulting coaching, that's on my website as well. I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say and attacking your friggin' day. And that's what this podcast is about. I got to go with my energy. And today I'm friggin' amped. Is it the nine hours sleep I got? Most likely. But that's what I love. I love this feeling right now. And I love y- yelling at you. And I love thinking that you've got your headphones in. And this crisp ass, high quality audio is coming through your ears, down your cerebellum, going down your spine. And you get a tingle in your tailbone. And that's it. <laughs> and that, on the tingle with the tailbone, I'll end it on toodaloo. Oh, right? Hoping that one day I don't need an introduction I got too much on my mind that I'd rather be discussing I be thinking existential, I got limitless potential Now I'm looking in that mirror like that motherfucker bluffing I don't trust Murdered that